In an interview with the New York Post to promote a Wednesday's Fight for the Fall initiative dynamite, Tony Khan declined to comment when mm. asked about either CM Punk or Daniel Bryan coming to his promotion. When asked directly if he had signed either man, Khan said, I have no comment on those, but those are good questions, but I cannot comment on those. To follow up about hypothetically what it would mean for the company to sign both. He said, quote, I can't comment on those two guys, but I think there are certainly a lot of exciting rumors right now. You know, I saw online uh, some somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, some, some, somebody was reporting that I was backing off on what I had said about Daniel Bryan and CM Punk when I said that I believe, not reporting this because I have no confirmation, but I believe that Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are signed to AEW. read somewhere that I was backing off on that, and I was like, where'd that come from? Let me make this abundantly clear. I believe right <laughs> now that Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are signed, and they are going to AEW. Now, Yell it to the people in the back. Listen. First off, what do you want Tony Khan to say? He wants to make this, if, if they have signed, he wants to make this obviously... Uh, either a big announcement on television, a big surprise in Chicago or New York or whatever. He doesn't want to just do an interview with the New York Post and say, oh, well, you know, guess what? Okay. But he said no comment. So he kind of is between a rock and a hard place. However, I'm just going to say this, and I don't, I don't have it confirmed that they have signed. Okay. Let me make that abundantly clear. If I am Tony Khan... And I do not have Daniel Bryan and CM Punk signed. And the New York Post asks me point blank if they are signed. I say, no, they are not signed. Because if I don't have them signed and everybody thinks that they are going there... What good does it do me to say no comment and get mm. everybody excited and thinking that that means that they are signed? It makes no sense. If they're not signed, you have to say no, unless like you've got a, a verbal agreement or it's all but signed or whatever. You say no comment and look what look what's happened on the internet. Uh, look anywhere. Everybody believes that that means that they're going to AEW. You don't do that as a promoter if you don't have them signed. Because otherwise you build up expectations and people end up massively disappointed and they get mad at you. Even though you didn't say yes, they got mad at you because it's wrestling and you say no comment and people presume that's a yes. So I don't know. I don't have it confirmed. But I believe more than ever today that Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are signed and soon will be debuting on AEW. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing. And I may go do that after the show is over. Because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> it allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> it allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.